Hey everyone, Hannah here for R-Drive. Today, I wanna to help you get better acquainted with Drive Explorer, what you see when you log into R-Drive, by talking about personal drives, drives that you yourself make. So here we are in Drive Explorer, and the heart and soul of Drive Explorer is this new button. If I click on it, you see this is where I create new drives, where I upload my files to those drives, and where I create folders to organize those files within my drives. Just to note that at the bottom here is attached drive. That has to do with drives that other people have made and have shared with you. We get into that in our public drives video, which I encourage you to check out in the link below. But let's stay focused on personal drives. So let's go ahead and make a new drive. I'm going to call this drive Miscellaneous Family Picks. And you can see that I can make this drive either public or private. Public means anybody with the drive link or drive ID can access my drive and the contents within it. Private means that I can share the particular files within the drive. Because this drive has to do with immediate family pictures, I'm gonna go ahead and make this drive private and click create. You can see my drive has shown up here on the left-hand side under personal drives, and it's got this lock button beside it because it is a private drive. Unlike the starter drive I created earlier, which is a public drive and doesn't have the lock icon. Below my personal drives, you'll see my list of shared drives, which again, we get to in another video. If I click on my miscellaneous family picks, you see that I can rename the drive and I can also export the entire drive contents but I don't have any contents to export right now. So I'm gonna head back to my new button and click upload files. And you upload files to R Drive just like you upload files to anything. I simply have to click on the image I want to get into my drive and click open. Now R Drive is gonna do what it does every time you upload a file to R Drive, which is assess the size of the file to calculate how much it will cost for you to store that file on the permaweb. And this is because remember, we are paying for how much storage space we're using. So it's estimated it's gonna cost about 0 0.00004 for AR, which comes up to about two cents US. I'm great with this price. I'm gonna go ahead and click upload. And now you see that it is saying it's uploading one file or bundle. Okay, my file is here in my miscellaneous family pics. So you can see that I can click on my image and I can download this file. Right beside it is the share button and we get into sharing private files in another video, so I encourage you to check that out too in the link below. And beside that, I can rename this file just like I can rename drives. And beside rename, you can see that I can move this file. So now I'm going to create a folder to organize my drive because I'm going to have a lot more family photos coming in here and I want to try to keep them all tidy and organized. I'm going to go back to my new button and click new folder and I'm gonna call this one pre-2015 and go ahead and click create. And now I can click on my image and click move and click pre-2015 and move here. And now that image is in my folder just where I want it to be. It is that simple to get started to create drives, whether public or private, to get your files in those drives and to organize them. I hope that you really enjoy getting your feet wet in the world of our drive.